All right, guys, did you ever have one of those jobs you just couldn't uh, figure out? It took you forever to get it. Well, this is one of those. Um, customer had one area of their building that just would not heat. Uh, steam system, single pipe, um, just couldn't heat it. Uh, it's been this way for 20 some years. We finally got involved with it and it took me several trips back and forth to the building, balancing, uh, doing all kinds of things to finally figure out what the problem was. So we finally figured it out and this is a little short video of it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them for me and uh, I'll see what I can do to answer them. Thanks. Okay, so we have a problem with one line in this building heating. This is where it splits. We're in the middle tier of the building, so steam comes along here, takes off going that way to the next basement, through there, and it starts to die. So steam just starts to die off and we can't heat that third basement. Of course the steam continues to fly along here, of course vents great, um, and works perfect. This return over here, right here, is the return coming back from that fire basement. Now as the boiler steams, air is coming out of the vents at the boiler room, of course, you know, which is way in the next basement over. Um, air is flying through, flying through, flying through, and then all of a sudden it just stops. Well, they're still steaming, but the air stops. So what we've now determined, of course, here's our steam line. We're running through. Does a 90 degree turn, comes into this little room over here. Comes through, starts coming along. Look at the thermostats down here in this cold section in a basement, wrong place. Originally, this is where the thermostats were. Comes through and then takes off and does its loop all the way back to the other side. But we've disconnected this pipe here so we get we got steam coming along up to here. I could see it with my thermal imager and then it just dies at this point and barely creeps along the pipe out. So we took it apart and if we look in here, see the water? This whole pipe is flooded. So now we got to determine is it a pitching problem or are we plugged with something? So here we just got a level on the pipe and it is higher, but just barely. I don't know why we're flooded so deep. So we'll tear it up that. So to the level we are pitched uphill that way, which is wrong. That should be level or downhill. Right, so if I come in this corner, we're heading downhill. Right around the corner, we're heading uphill. And then all the way at the end of this loop, this is this is heading uphill. And then all the way over here, we're back to level. Or heading downhill, and then of course this is heading downhill all the way. So we gotta lift this corner over here. So we'll do that. Okay, yeah. All right, so now we've repitched the pipe. I just stuck a couple of logs in the ground with a two by four for now. Lifted this pipe. See how much this hanger is bent. Of course, it's still loose, but that's how much this thing has dropped. Um, I also had to take a little piece of wood out that was above this pipe to this beam so I can get this to rise up a little better. This is actually just barely pitched downhill this way. 
then we can see our level is just barely pitched downhill. We'll double check this one. So we're just barely pitched downhill, but we're good. And if we look back inside, we were three quarters of the way flooded. You can almost see the water line there. We do see a little water in there, but that's because the fitting is lower than the pipe. So we are trapping a little water right here, but that happens at every fitting. Our pipe is actually dry, and we're now pitched downhill, going all the way back to the boiler. So now we're going to see if we can get this last loop to heat. Because again, at some point in time, these guys were operating at in this, this is where they lost heat, so they just ran it till this area of the building got warm, which is in the basement. One sensor here, thermostat here, thermostat here. Boy, these guys were trying everything, except finding the actual problem, which was trapping water. And the weird thing is, this never hammered, not once. No steam noise or hammering at all. This pipe was about three quarters full of water, so eventually the system would heat, just steam would have to warm up this condensate, and it did eventually, but by the time you did, you overheated everything else. So now we're gonna put it back together and run her through a test cycle, see if it works. Okay, so now we have this pitched right. It's pitching downhill, just barely, but it is. And we come over just on the other side of this wall, we estimate Looking at the amount of thermostats, this has been this way at least 20, 25 years. Wrong. So we're coming over here on this side, and we can see we're just, we're pitching back uphill again. So I need to put a brace under here so we can angle it back up again. So we're going to do this again. Okay, so now we've added another support here. You can see our level. It's focused in just barely a pitch. They didn't leave us much room for error here. Uh, this side of the tee, we're okay here too. So now we're pitched. We've added that support over there. To raise it up, and then this support here, and then I check the pitch all the way else, all the way downhill. Comes over here to this smaller line, and then all the way back to the boiler line. Two more basements down. All right, so now's our our run time. Let's see if we can do it. We're refiring up the boiler. This was our problem before. We would have steam pouring out of this loop, which is the one coming closest to it. Steam pouring out of this one, nothing. It would just die off on this one. Only air would blow out, and then once steam hit that water, it would just collapse and we'd get nothing. So now we're gonna just fire it up the boiler. And we'll go see how she works. Okay, so now I'm in the basement where the lines split. So this is where it splits off and goes to that far basement. Of course, this is the middle basement we're in, so here's the return, or it's gonna turn into a return right after these last radiator takeoffs. So what we're hoping for is these are the last takeoffs on the middle loop, here and here. So we're hoping that the steam comes to this return line of our fire loop and is equal of our middle loop here. So at an equivalent speed. That would be under perfect scenario, which never happens. But we're gonna see how close we can make it now. So I'll follow the steam using my thermal imager. 
Let's see where we're at now. So we're at 91, and we're climbing. No, we're not climbing yet. We're just kind of hovering, so we got steam on its way, but we'll take up when we finally get steam here. Okay, I could feel it coming. So now we're at, we're at 212, 221. So we're nice and hot there. We're gonna get hot here in a minute. Let's see if we can focus in. Let's watch it climbing. 95, 203, 212, all right. So we're going good there. So this is the end of our loop on the middle loop. There we go, we're getting nice and hot. So let's see if our far basement starts getting hot. Here's where we lost our steam last time. This corner was flooded. So let's see what we can do here. See if we get any hammering or banging. 98. Okay, we're starting to climb, so steam is heading our way. There we go, we have steam. You can kind of see our steam coming right through the wall there. I'm going to turn this light off. On. Okay, hopefully we'll be able to see it better now that the light's off on the camera. There's our steam, 215, 210, 224. Now it would take a good 20 minutes to get down to this end of the pipe before. So we're gonna see how long we are. We're at 82 degrees right now. And if we look that way, we go down. You could actually see the steam coming. I don't know how well it shows up on the camera. See how it's real bright right there? Mm -hmm. And orange here. See the steam coming? Yeah. See it moving? So we have 215 there. 95 here, 100, 200, 100, 200. So you can see the steam moving. Okay, it's 85. Watch how fast it changes. 90. See the steam coming, 100, 180, 215, look at that, almost instantaneously how fast that steam is moving along there. Okay, so now we got this section of the building heating, but if we look, all the radiators are pitched wrong, it's hard to tell off a of video, but it's angling the wrong way. So now, got to go through and put shims under all the legs and probably revent everything.
That's the bedroom. You see the dining room's kind of pitched strong too. Living room's close, but still pitched strong. So they need to fix that next. Okay, so we're back. We've got everything heating. This our hard line still takes a long time to get hot, so I'm gonna slow down the other two returns and leave this one fast, see if we can balance them out a little bit better. But that end of the building is now heating. We are all set. 